Hi. Yup. <laughs> this video is gonna be more of like a review slash tutorial type of video. This right here, this is a Gendama or Kendama. And this is what this video is gonna be all about. I got this from these really nice people and I'll be talking all about them at the end of this video. Let's get into it. Like I said, this is a Kendama. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to use this and my thoughts on it. So let me get into a more like better spot to sh show you like me using it. See you there. Oh, dear lord. See you there. Is this better? I hope it is. I hope the lighting's a hold on. Turn all the light here. Here, that's got that's better. Alright. This is a beginner's thing. Hold like this. It's kinda like an ice cream. And uh Oh. It takes a couple tries at first. But then you'll get the hang of it soon. I know this trick. It's called the frying pan. Ugh. There you go. Alright. This is this is called a spike. You spin the ball, the the force, you keep the ball straight in place, the physics and all that. All right. It takes a couple tries. You're not gonna be done with it in one day. There you go. I like hopping it off the stick and getting it into the cup. Later on, I'm going to do some fun trivia about it. Alright. Ah, oh, so close. By the way, you should get one. I totally recommend it. These are really time consuming. Ah. It's very time consuming. But you'll get the hang of it sooner or later. There's still this one trick I'm trying to learn. Two tricks, actually. It's where you hold it upside down like this by the spike. It's a little cup right here. And you can catch the ball with this. It'll be more like an ice cream on a cone. Blueberry flavored. I chose out blue because I like blue. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know why I spinned it. That's going to make it ten times harder. And this is, I'm on day two, day three. It's literally one o'clock in the morning. I am tired. Not meant to stay up this late. Can't wait to sleep in. Alright. Trying to talk so this video won't be as boring. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, leave a like. If you don't really like it, you can dislike for all I care. I don't care about money. All I care about is kind of just fame, I guess. I just want to be noticed in around places. Alright. I'm gonna be like Tobey Maguire if I get famous in that paparazzi rage. I recreated that clip with my friends, with my brother and my friends. It's, it's real funny. Go check that out on my shorts page. Let's try out the spike again. Let's do the spike again. The, the other one I've been trying to do for a while now, all day, I've been trying to do an earth turn. 
It's where you kind of, it's where you kind of just flip it and try to get it to land on the stick again. I'm gonna get back, get up closer again. See, it's it's very tough when you're using it. You won't keep in mind you won't be as good at it when you first start. The man who sold this to me was really nice. He taught me these. Thank you so much. But we'll get to that later. They're, the people who gave, like, that I bought this stuff from, they're not sponsoring me, but I wish they would. But... So... Alright, so, those noises in the background are my TV, so don't mind that, if you hear any noises like laughing and stuff, that's just my TV. So, it gets very tough. There you go. If you did that, you're getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere too. We all are. The, the, these tricks I'm showing in this video, I don't know any more tricks than this. Trust me. I didn't have enough time with the guy to teach me more. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who he is. And yeah, that's mostly it. You just, you can just hop it around. All right. Let me give you a quick tutorial now. Spin it. Spin the ball for the spike. Hop it. And you will most likely get it on the spike. Oh, that was a mess up. There's something called a dry spike. is where you don't spin the ball whatsoever. I've been trying it today. Been getting real hard. It's a next step. It's another level of hard. So for the for the hop on the cup, it's very simple. This is like a a beginner's one. This is like your first one you should do. Then you progress up. So see that? I have it like this. Look. Keep the string like this. Don't have it all tangled up. That's bad. It would be harder. Anyway, pull it up. I like doing one called the frying pan. This is called the frying pan. Like that. Ah. All right. For this, this one, the ice cream cone is what I like to call it. It's a lot harder than you think. I've only made it once. So far, I just want to make one of these hard ones. Show you that it's possible, at least. I know it is because I've done it. I've done it before. It's like a, it's like a video game, but in real life. Why am I spinning it? That's going to make it harder. You can spin it and try to get it on, but it's going to be like a basketball. It's going to spin out the, the thing. What's it called? The rim. Or the basket. I don't know. But that's all I know about the kendamas. Let's get to the trivia. See you there. All right. Time for the trivia. I'm going to just set this back here. You know, I'm gonna set it up here for a good view of it. Just set it like this. Set it like that. There. Perfect. So, so kendamas originated from Japan, and before they got the hammer look to it, it, it was just a stick with a cup underneath. So you can only do like two tricks, I guess. There's not a lot of tricks I know so far, but...
I'm getting there. There was only like a couple kendamas that had like the hammer look, but most of the ones that were just a stick was in Mexico and Spain, I think. Don't remember, but. And then, um, Japan, like, made the hammered look, the classic hammered look. Also, the reason why, um, the kendama was invented was to teach kids in Japan, um, patience. And it's, and it's really helping me out with my stress and stuff. I, I just definitely, I just recommend this. If you're like stressed out and you need to like learn about patience and stuff, it's the right thing for you. The guy that was teaching me said he he picked one up like 11 years ago and he never put it down. And seeing his skills made me want to do it more and get to his level. So um yeah. That's all I know about the Kendama trivia, and yeah, that's it. Let's talk about the people I bought this from. I bought the this Kendama in this exact beanie from this small business called How to Die Happy, or Die Happy, Living in Colors, and they make these... And they make these beanies and a bunch of other things, like tie-dye stuff, overalls. It's really cool stuff. You should go check out their website. Just look up Die Happy on Google, and you might find their website. That's how I found it. And how I found them for the first time, there was this festival going on this weekend, and they were selling freeze-dried candies and beanies and all that and so like later on so first I bought the freeze-dried candies which were amazing next I saw that they were now selling one of these bad boys and I got them I got one and it's really really fun to mess with and totally recommend it the guy who was like teaching me, his name was what, like what, Daniel? Hold on, I think it was Daniel. Daniel Lambert was his name. He was the one who, who showed me the, like, the wonders of this and how, and how to like do these cool tricks. Seeing him do all those tricks just inspired me to get one of these and I am so happy that I made my decision to get one uh, and, and and right there I don't think you can see it. it has their logo it's right up here on my hat it's like a meditating and it says under it die happy really really cool I, I love their products and you should go on their website and get a kendama of your own Soon they're going to be releasing a new type of series of kendamas, different colors and all that. They used to have yellow and black, blue and white, black and white, all that cool stuff. So they're probably going to make, so they're making new colors for their, for the, for their selling. So they can sell more and newer kendamas. Thank you so much. Um, how to die happy for for showing me how to use this and thank you Daniel Lambert for um, showing me how to use this and telling me the like the history of it by the way he has a YouTube channel I think it's Daniel Lambert edit 7 just look up that and you might find his channel it's mostly like a video with like Kendama skills, and it's really cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. I have so much fun messing with one of these. Thank you so much, Die Happy, for like 
for selling me these stuff, this stuff. So, thanks again. Y'all are really cool. Thank you.